cool, I'm gonna make my husband two cups of coffee in this fancy machine. Except, oh my gosh, I broke my husband. <laughs> another video and I think today we might have ourselves a vlog. For the next few days my husband and I will be acting like we are locals in New Orleans and I'm going to bring y'all along. Y'all cool with that? We're going to be staying at the Club Wyndham La Belle Maison from Sunday to Wednesday. This was a gift from my dad. He actually holds a timeshare and he had some points that we're going to run out at the end of the month and he called me because he didn't have time to go anywhere <laughs> he asked us if we wanted them uh, yeah we'll make some time to go somewhere and one of our favorite places to go is new orleans so we're here our first time at this property so i thought i'd start by giving you a little hotel tour y'all like stuff like that if that's something that you're interested in starting with the hotel tour and just hanging out with us randomly over the next three days then stay tuned <laughs> So I'm in the restroom right now. It's got this beautiful mirror. I'm in love with this sink. It's not this, you know, New Orleans is all about the French vibe, so there's already like a huge French vibe going on. Pretty standard shower. And then this door leads into the bedroom. Love the brick accent wall, right? I'm absolutely in love with that. I actually want to do something like that in our house. I want to do this in our bedroom. So this is like really going to push it over the edge for me. <laughs> My husband knows it too. So this is the bedroom. It's got the little armoire. Nice mirror. And then the French doors that lead out into the living space. This is the one bedroom King Presidential. This is the entrance. How we found us a good Lakers game. That's when we're getting ready to watch. More brick, love it so much. So 
we have a full dining room area. The living room you just saw, and then the full kitchen. Yes, I real deal moved in. Avocado oil, salad dressing, everything, water. <laughs> Check out these lights. So in love with that chandelier. The details are just really, really pretty. Yep, and then back to the bedroom. So yeah, that's the tour. <laughs> Wasn't gonna take long, it's still just a hotel room. But again, it is the one bedroom king presidential suite at the Club Wyndham La Belle Maison. It is on Magazine Street, which is real close to everything. It's like a block from Canal, a few blocks from the lakefront. So really, really convenient location. We're super tired. We have been trying to get here since three o'clock and it is, it's almost nine. It's been such a long travel day, so much construction and all kind of just madness going on on the highway. So thanking God for traveling, Grace, we are here. I'm actually going to unpack our suitcases because anytime we travel somewhere, I unpack because I want to feel like everything is done and we can actually live in the space <laughs> and not out of our suitcase. shows how small it is because this is these are the Ramos necessities <laughs> for grooming actually some of it is down here too but yeah just want my stuff to be where it's supposed to be I'm gonna, I'm gonna live here okay I'm gonna be here I'm gonna live here <laughs> anybody else like that let me know in the comments below and when y'all go to a hotel or to an Airbnb. Do y'all like move all your stuff in? Yeah. Tea. Doing a little people watching. <laughs> Doing a little people watching. Somebody across the street just waved. Hubby is trying to find us somewhere to park because one of the things about New Orleans, man, you will spend more money on parking than anything, especially during the pandemic, even though mandates are being lifted. A lot of places don't offer valet. There's just 
that complimentary service is not a thing. So we found a place to park yesterday when we got here, not easily because it was dark and it was peopley, but because it's Sunday, a lot of places are free until eight o'clock Monday morning. So hubby is up driving around <laughs> trying to find us another park. We'll probably go ahead and pay daily parking today though, because <sighs> that way we can get out, walk around. We may find somewhere else that may benefit us more. But oh. hope you all had a wonderful night. The sleep was so good. Um, oh, and I definitely underrepresented that bathtub. It has jets. So how dare I say it was a standard tub, right? Anywho, you all have an amazing start to your day. Drink something warm, drink something nourishing. And uh, I'll see you soon. Hopefully with my love next to me next time. Bye. gonna be the nicest day that we have while we're here. I think the high is 71. Uh, not a cloud in the sky, it's sunny. Uh, it's a little windy, but I'm fine with the wind as long as it you know, feels good. So, gonna see what we can find out here in these downtown New Orleans streets. Y'all ready? Let's go.
Hey, so we have arrived at Sweet Vegan Soul Food in NOLA. Uh, this is our fourth time coming here. Um, everything is vegan. They have a hot bar, they have a salad bar. So, Hubby and I today, Hubby got some jambalaya. It's your first time getting the jambalaya, babe? All right, so you get to get his first impression on that. And then I did a create your own salad from the salad bar. So. Gonna let you all see what we got going on. And we gonna dig in. Oh yeah, if you don't hear the popping while you're taking this off, it ain't on now. <laughs> Alright. See that tomato, them seasonings up in there. You see that you see that vegan sausage, baby, right there? Oh, we got the vegan sausage. It's all in there, baby. Okay. Let's see what they're talking about. Now y'all, uh, fun fact, Mr. Ramos loves him some rice. <laughs> So he ain't finna play play about this now. If it's good, it's great. If it's not, we'll figure out how to make it at home. <laughs> you see that you see that heat? Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah? Yeah, Lee hit your tongue quick. Off the rip. Yeah? Yeah, when he hit you that fast, that's how you know. <laughs> That's awesome. All right, so I kept it a little light and simple today. And did a create your own salad. We got some spring mix and romaine lettuce, cucumbers, beets, mushrooms, green onions, and some guacamole, and a creamy balsamic dressing. Super excited about that. We don't get to do creamy things, so when somebody at a vegan restaurant takes the time to figure it out, I appreciate it. Time to dig in. Balsamic tastes like a thousand islands. I ain't had that in forever. <laughs> it's good. Yeah, we've eaten here. Like I said, this is our fourth time. The other times we've come, we threw down on the hot bar. They've got like cauliflower wings, uh, fried mushrooms, dressing, gravy, collard greens, potato salad, mac and cheese. They got all the things. They actually have a different menu every day. So you definitely should go online and check them out. I'll put the website to, in the description box so that you can check them out next time you're in New Orleans. You do not want to pass this place up. And I'll tell you right now, we have bought non-vegans here and they have thoroughly enjoyed their meal too. And that's really important because, hey, all our friends are vegan. <laughs> okay? <laughs> check it out. So right now I'm channeling my inner uh, chauffeur when you and I was dating mm -hmm. and I had the limo to pull up over Cynthia house and you didn't know it. Yeah. And so the limo driver was at the car <laughs> waiting on you. Yeah. And he said, your chariot has the road. Yes, it did. I'm channeling my inner chauffeur. Okay. I'm squozing <laughs> enough of these to know that this one ready. Okay. Thank yeah. you. Yeah. I just need to. I'm good. Um, Thank you. Don't know how much you mean to me, baby. I can't put it in words. You don't know how much you give to me, baby. Baby, you save me, you give me 
you in here trying to be a baby. Hey, that was fun. You better do this first time. <laughs> show you how stocked this kitchen is here at this hotel this is what you want when you're traveling okay save you some money and have some food that you really know you like because y'all making it that's just he has spoiled me because all the food that he cooks tastes better than what's out there so anywho let me show you check it out all right we got the oven preheating oh goodness that's some red eyes on that thing. But anywho. I mean stocked. Okay. Got our Pyrex dish. Then we're going to put our veggies in. Made hubby some peanut butter banana toast this morning. We got a colander. Look at that. I actually brought this with me. <laughs> I mean stocked. Stocked, stocked, stocked. What we got here? More pots and pans. I'm using that one. I boiled it, used it to boil my water for my tea this morning. I had to take these out of the oven because they know how to use a storage space. <laughs> All the utensils. Well, first the towels. Right? Like you want for nothing. Buy you some ice cream. We got your school. Okay? Yes. This is what you want. There's the cutting board. Found it. <laughs> we need this. And then, oh yeah, I remember. It's a blender and a pitcher. Like I said, fully stocked. school man I only want to fall in love once with an old school girl when I know I'll know hand in hand like left right left right oh Bonnie and Clyde you can have whatever you like when it's you and I can have the world See us coming like left, right, left, right all oh. Are you the same? Are you the same? Are you the same? Are you the same? Can we get comfortable? I don't really like going out It makes me uncomfortable Comfortable, yeah We 
we could be chilling on the sofa Or cooking in the kitchen like left, right, left, right, oh, oh Are you the same? Are you the same? Are you the same? Are you the same? Touching my body go When you're touching my body go I want it I need it I'm on it I'm on it Service with a smile. Yes. <laughs> Enjoy. Hope y'all eating something good and yummy tonight. It don't take a whole lot. Get you some veggies. Drink you some water. Get outside and get some sun. Mm. Are you the same? morning today is Tuesday March 15th I think March 15th uh, we are just waking up it is um we woke up around 11 it's 11 26 now hey the, the body needs what it needs okay <laughs> Had to get some of that good getaway rest. But also, y'all, I almost broke my husband yesterday, y'all. Oh my goodness. All over a pot of coffee. Y'all, we are not coffee people uh, anymore. There was a time that, man, I was in that line. That line, that popular line. Mm. And my husband didn't care where his coffee came from. <laughs> There, there was a time in our lives, but that is so long ago. That's at least 10 years for me. And I'm, I'm thinking for him too, since we've been like that. But there's this nice coffee pot in here, you know, and it had this fancy Louisiana coffee. And so I'm like, babe, you want a cup of coffee? And I'll make you some peanut butter, banana toast. And he was like, yeah, you know what? Let's do that. So cool. I'm going to make my husband two cups of coffee in this fancy machine. Except I only made him two cups of coffee. The amount of coffee I put in there should have been enough for an entire carafe of coffee, which was about 10 or 12 cups. So my husband drank 10 or 12 cups of coffee in two. Yeah, he's already... See, y'all don't know this, okay? It's not really portrayed in the videos because he's not a camera person. But that man has got so much natural energy, y'all. He was he was jacked up yesterday, okay, on energy. And he finally started asking questions about the coffee because he wasn't really telling me how he was feeling. But he started asking questions and I started going, are, are you okay? Like, is something wrong? Your tummy feeling funny? Well, bottom line, we got down to it. That's what I did. I made him two of the most concentrated cups of coffee known to man. And my, I finally, he just wasn't tired at all. And he didn't really have an appetite. He ate a few of the vegetables that I roasted last night, but he would usually eat more than half of the pan of those vegetables. So, and then y'all saw when we went to the place for lunch yesterday, he had a, it's a pretty large portion of jambalaya, but that's all he had. And that that's it just wasn't usual sorry about that hubby called we're playing the parking game in new orleans whole another story time It'd be funnier for him to maybe i can get him to tell y'all that story but where was i oh yeah so 
that's all that he ate yesterday. So I really knew that something was up and then finally we talked about it. And it's definitely my coffee blend. So last night, around 11, I couldn't keep my eyes open anymore. So I felt bad feeling sleepy because it was obvious he wasn't. He was just like, he was ready to go outside and run a marathon. <laughs> So I told him, I said, well, let me at least just go take a nap at 11 o'clock at night because I knew I wouldn't be able to sleep fully because he wasn't in the bed with me. So I woke up around three and sure enough, I look in the living room and here he is on this couch, iPad, all lit up, just thumbs just going, just typing away and the TV's on and I think living single was on. <laughs> I was like, oh my gosh, I broke my husband. <sighs> oh my goodness. So he said he did feel the the caffeine burst coming down. So I think we sat up here until about 4.45 and then got in the bed. And I think he may have finally gone to sleep around 5 or 6. So hence why we're just waking up at 11 o'clock. <laughs> oh, he still didn't get eight hours. If I add mine together, I did, but <sighs> supposed to be a rainy day today in NOLA, but we um look like it just rained a little. They were saying thunderstorms, but we're gonna get dressed and go for a walk and hopefully show you all a bit more today than we were able to yesterday. <laughs> Hope you're having an amazing one. See you in a sec. Hey, hey, uh same day, a couple of hours later. <laughs> um mm y'all little baby banana so good so trip is being cut short by a day adulting has come into place um an unforeseeable situation at our home has come up so uh we got to get back up this road up this road over east <laughs> so while our trip has been cut short we had such a good time here like we really just Took a chance to relax reset recharge um sometimes you just need to get in four different walls to do that so it has been an amazing stay if you ever have the chance to come to new orleans and you can stay at the club Wyndham la belle maison say yes to yourself you are worth it it is amazing definitely gonna come back there's hubby pulling up the car so we can get our things into the car and, and back up this road, but. Don't know how much you mean to me, baby. I can't put it in words.
That's beautiful. Hey. I, I like when your bowls come out like that. Oh, MG. That's probably the most amazing bowl I've artistic. ever seen you order. It's very artistic. Yeah. I want to turn it. <laughs> wow. Oh, okay, greens and cornbread. <laughs> Look at the hell. Look at the hell out. Check through. <laughs> That's what's up. This is a little so flower good. right there. Come on. Yeah. Man, that's, that bowl is you. <laughs> this bowl is you. <laughs> I ain't playing with your food, but just let me. See. <laughs> so, I'm just letting y'all know my wife is very colorful, her personality is very colorful. If, if somebody were to tell me to, to make Johanna a bowl that you know, <laughs> depicts her character, her personality, Aww. the things that she puts into her body. That's it. <laughs> Look at that. Flowers and whatever that bologna looking thing is. And <laughs> That's a beet tortilla. Beet they made them beet. Man, I got to do a little avocado. <laughs> black bean. That look like corned beef hash right there. <laughs> I'd rather get the menu to figure out what it is again. You enjoy that. I will. Thank you. <laughs>
tastes like some carne asada, man. gotta try this place out maxwell at 6101 Max magazine street well. in new orleans maxwell i'll put the link in the description box <sighs> we made it back to the car that food was so amazing um now it's time to hit the road i don't feel so stuffed that it's gonna be like time to go to sleep do you feel like that i feel light <sighs> energetic i feel satisfied um yeah. I also just wanted y'all to see that that he is okay. <laughs> I'm pretty sure the people were worried about you from my other clip that I put up. <laughs> uh, he's he's okay. Good, y'all. Trust me, I worried enough for all of us. <sighs> Look at that beard, man. Beard game strong. Did y'all peep the um, the Tupac sign in there on the, on the juice Starting refrigerator? Route guidance to your destination. Left Th turn ahead. Thank onto you, girl. Magazine Street. Okay. Thank you, girl. Y'all peeped the, two, the Tupac sign. You got the juice now? That was awesome. My husband says that all the time. He has said that time. so many times. <laughs> and I actually looked for Tupac photographs. And, you know, the, fr the phrase is used at a lot of vegan places, too. Yeah. But this is the first one that had an actual Tupac picture. That was pretty dope. So, shout out to uh, Maxwell, the owner, Max, um, Chef Maya. You did your thing. We can't wait to come back so that uh, we can do that all over again. Let's hit the road, y'all. Peace. <laughs> for watching and coming along with us on this vlog to act like we live in New Orleans. <laughs> I hope that you enjoyed it. Be sure that you like, comment, and share this vlog. And then if you haven't already, subscribe to the channel and ring that bell so you don't miss any of the amazing content that I have in store for you. You all have an amazing rest of your day and we'll see you soon. Bye.